ladies and gentlemen, here we are, another 7,000 Southerner. Um, typically when we test these things and we got autopilot, etc., we, uh, we have to do it in dead flat water to get everything commissioned properly. However, today we've taken the advantage, it's a windy day, this boat's got to go out. When I say windy, what are we dealing with? It's been blowing hard the last sort of three days. Check Willie. We're sitting at 26 knots currently, blowing straight in out of Carrum, where we uh, do our testing from. So as we come out here, what I thought we could do today is we'd have Matt behind the wheel. He's gonna drive the boat for us. And that's gonna give me the opportunity to move around and try some different positions in the boat. So we're gonna watch the boat and how it gets through this bigger water. I'd be expecting to see somewhere between two and two and a half meters of swell out here. We're gonna go through a very short, sharp, choppy bar as well, where it can get as shallow as a meter. So it's gonna be as nasty as water gets. It'll be really short and um, yeah, it won't be a lot of fun, but here we are. Once we do that, I'm gonna try some time in the cabin and try some time in the passenger seat and see how wet I get at the back as well. Just to give you a really good opportunity that if you are coming home in massive water, you know that your crew's gonna be safe and hopefully we're about to see if they're gonna be dry or not. But let's get a little perspective of what we're dealing with. So we're coming up through the, coming up to the entrance now. We're gonna see some bigger water very soon. You'll see um, as we come across here, we're gonna have the cabin open. So we're uh, just idling out at the moment. It is certainly uh, less desirable than our normal test. You can see all the white water over there. Um, but let's some, uh, some notes of what's happening so far. We haven't seen really a drip over the uh, over the windscreen slash dash there. Certainly the bow's been very proud the whole way through. There's been no sign whatsoever of any water going over the bow there. We're sitting on uh, 1800 RPM, 14 kilometers an hour. It's big water. We do have a windscreen wiper. We're just gonna chip along at this speed for a little bit and then we're gonna go alongside the waves and check out what's going on from there. So I'm gonna go out the back and see how big these big boys are. Gee whiz. See, as we come along here, brave myself a little bit. This is certainly less than ideal conditions, but we're gonna have a look at a few things in the boat and see how this stuff works in real world. Oh, see if I can get up here, eh? Gee whiz. All right, so up here, we have a few things. We have the hard top here that has this spray deflector and it stays like today and why we need this sort of stuff. You can see that lip at the end there, that's gonna disperse the water and take it down this channeling system here. So the water is not going to uh, splash over the back of the hard top as much. It's more going to be uh, diverted to uh, make sure the people behind the boat, i.e. in this position here, are nice and dry. We also have a spray deflector on the side here. So as we're going along, you can keep it going a little bit, Matty. We've got um, a spray deflector there. So as the water pulls along, we can see that working perfectly right now as it goes across there. So there is two deflectors that work really well. One on the hard top, one on the side deck just there. You see these big boys coming through. It is big water. I don't know if you can understand. That's a big one. Oh, look at that. So we can see if you keep going a little bit, Matty, that water getting pushed along just there, beautifully doing its job, and that's what we like to see. This is an offshore boat, and sometimes you get stuck out in offshore conditions, so this is a great opportunity to see this stuff. Matty's got the wiper going there. It's very important. He's got one hand on the wheel, one hand on the throttle. He's in control of the boat. The zip wake trim tabs are keeping us very level, and we are nice and safe, even though it is a bit uncomfortable. We have a handrail starboard, and as you can see here, I've got a handrail port. So if you are standing up behind the back of the hard top here, you've got a crew of three or four, you are in a good position. You can see Matty's standing up, he's using his knees as he's bouncing along a little bit. But so far, I don't know on the video, but we haven't heard a thud. We haven't really, oh, gee whiz. We haven't really um, had any issues so far and we haven't dipped the anchor under a wave yet. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, windward side here, I'm copping a bit more. Um, that's to be expected. Gee whiz. Um, I'm going to go up in the passenger seat now. We've got a big handrail just here. Oh, all right. So we've got one hand on the wheel, one hand on the throttle. We're just chipping along. I'm going to get Maddie to turn right now. We're going to head towards the city and just roll along it for a second. Maddie's got his wiper going, and this is the obviously the ideal conditions for the wiper because as we're going along here, we can um, we can have that work. And I'm not a huge windscreen wiper fan. I do like Rain-X on the windscreens that um, beads the water off nice and quick. But in this condition, obviously the windscreen wiper is crucial. So I'm going to work my way into the seat now. I've got a handle here, and I've also got a handle here. So if I do want to be in the passenger seat, I'm currently sitting quite comfortable. Got a big windscreen here so I can see what's going on. I can see um, plenty of visibility, which makes it a bit more comfortable for people as well. We're currently doing 2600 RPM, 25 kilometers an hour. That spray deflector under the hull would be working a treat. Let's check that out. So we'll work our way to the back. At this speed, we're sort of planing, yeah? So as we come out the back here, wow we we can see, I'm going to go to the other side. A little bit faster there, Matty. We're going to get the boat sort of going along just at that 30, 35 kilometers an hour. We're on top of the water. That boat's pushing along so nice. We can see that Matt and I are both on the same side and those zip weights are keeping the boat nice and level. I'm sort of doing everything wrong. I'm on the wrong side of the boat. I'll swap again. Look at the size of this puppy. It's a big wave. Oh, you got that one. Um, we're going along. You can see here, you just push it along really nicely. It's big, big water, but we're very, very safe and comfortable. Last step, I'm going to try and put the rear lounge up. And I'm going to sit there and probably cop it, but that's okay. We're going to see what it's like in this position. All right, Maddie. Good to go, mate. So, the, least, the most least ideal spot, I would say, in the boat right now would be the cabin or the rear lounge. However, we have a shade extension on this one. So as we're going along, I'm actually not getting wet. I expected this to be a nightmare, but um, I'm in a good little spot here. So we're gonna turn around, Matty. Oh, there we go, there's a green one. So we finally got one over the deck. You can see here, dash is dry. Maddie's dry, spray deflectors did their job. I was sitting in the rear lounge then. If anyone should have got extremely wet, it would have been me. It would have went over the hard top and landed straight on my lap. But that shade did, a, did its job, and uh, so did that spray deflector at the top. So I'm gonna turn the video off now. We're going to turn it back on when we get into a following sea, coming into the bar, and see how she goes in a following sea. Okay, so big following sea. Um, we're just going to sort of surf them in a little bit. Where that's a big boy right there, gee whiz. So nothing's a rush. We're cruising along. The boat's handling extremely well. We sort of wore one a second ago, kept us straight. We, uh, we didn't do a lot wrong, it was just a big ass wave and uh, they're very, very short here. You don't get a lot of time between waves. They're these sharp, nasty things. Look at the rear lounge here, it's pretty much dry. Um, that's surprising, I thought that was going to be a nightmare. I am a bit wet because I've been putting myself in funny spots, but uh, really trying to capture how well these things do. I mean, we don't promote whatsoever to be out in this sort of weather. But if you are offshore and you're coming home and you don't have a choice, it's the weather you're in, it's nice to know your boat's going to get you home safely and it's going to keep you as comfortable as possible in these trying conditions. All right, so we're just coming through the bar area now. We've got heaps of power with this 225 Yamaha 4.2 litre. We don't run out of power and that is important, especially in a following sea. It does pick us up a little bit. It's nice to know we can power through only when we need to. We're gonna work our way back up to the front. Oh. Matty's done a great job and we're uh, we're getting through here now. Look through that wiper there. Just 
So uh, that's a different aspect of what these southerners can do. It's what they're made to do. Uh, so again, I don't promote it, but um, it's nice to know that the, the offshore boat you're buying is actually capable and it's fit for purpose. So I hope you enjoyed. Plenty more videos coming as we uh, get the opportunity to do these sort of things. If you uh, have enjoyed, please subscribe to our videos so we can uh, keep the show on the road and we can also um, have plenty of good content out there for you. So again, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions regarding Quintrex, Yellowfin, Cruise Craft, whatever it is, uh, please let us know and we'd love to help you with your next boat purchase. Thanks for watching.